What's good, it's Josh Boy Bizman Cam here, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best way to detail in the direct sunlight and kind of how I detail in the direct sunlight. So I'm just gonna be kind of giving you guys some tips and tricks and an idea of the way that I do it, the most efficient way, in my opinion. Before this video begins, I know y'all see the quality, man. I know y'all see the quality. So I actually um, upgraded my lens a few days ago. I bought a new lens, needed to get a new lens, ended up getting this nice 22 mil lens for my Canon M50. So I hope you guys do enjoy the quality. And before this video begins i need you guys to go ahead and smack that like button hit the subscribe button if you guys aren't subscribed already make sure to comment if you guys have any questions or any video ideas that i can record in the next video go ahead and uh, get to work now the irony of uh the video today yeah if you guys can't tell because it's like outcast yeah there you go there's a little bit it's cloudy i'm actually doing this video in the clouds today i've tried to record this video twice with two other separate cars and some stuff has happened where the video ended up being a fail so i'm really out here trying to get this video for you guys so it is outcast but the same rules still apply everything still matters just follow along so it actually starts before you even get to your vehicle uh and you know before you even start uh, the detail a huge huge tip i have for you guys and this is the the best biggest game changer i've had is deionized uh, filtered water so if you guys don't know what that is it's pretty much just filtered water that goes through a filtration system that makes it to where uh, water doesn't come out in water spots and leave streaks and stuff like that you can actually let it sit in the sun um, it's the game changer for me that has been you know has allowed me to detail well in the sun I no longer hate like I used to hate detailing detailing exteriors because I knew I'd have to do it in the sun and I knew there was gonna be streaks and I'd have to fix it like over and over this I don't have to worry about that as many of you guys know if you guys have already seen my other videos I don't have a filtration system on here already I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of show you guys what I'm talking about so this is my water tank uh, I already have deionized filtered water in there and you guys see that I obviously don't have a filtration system so you guys are wondering how you get that water pretty much what I do is I go to a detail shop that's nearby local in my city and they have filtered water actually so it's a dollar and uh, 20 cents per 10 gallons I believe and I just go get a bunch of little token coins and allows me to go there and fill up whenever I want even so even if the people are closed there's a little water tank thing uh, outside it's like a little gas pump and I go there and I just plug it into my tank and water just pours and it's all the deionized filtered water so it's super super nice and it helps me it's the biggest biggest game changer that I've had you know thus far so if you guys don't have access to this type of water um, I recommend going to Walmart just getting a little RV filter I'll try to put one up on the screen and something like that won't exactly filter all the water the best way this does but it'll definitely help out in taking some of the bad minerals out um, that you don't need uh, when you when you obviously are washing a car so it something like that will help a little bit and if that's not the case if you have to just use normal water from whatever you know hose outlet whatever that you have just use it and move 10 times quicker when it comes to the drying process that's the best advice i can give you because that's how i used to have to do you know my stuff everything else you can also you know everything else i'm about to tell you you can also take into consideration because it will still help but the biggest thing is definitely this water so i got the water you know what products do i use to detail a car and do a basic wash so pretty much the two products that i use so i use water i use a fo foam to spray obviously and then i use a sealant um to help pretty much just protect the paint now if you guys are wondering what type of products these are the best products in my opinion that i recommend for stuff like this so a paint sealant a lot of you guys know this is the og uh pns bead maker it, this one this one's a killer um pns bead maker has been around for a while such a good sealant does really 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 well sitting in the sun in the direct sunlight for a while i actually use it as a drying aid so when the car is still wet after the final rinse i go ahead and spray this on as i'm drying and it uh kind of cures you know along the paint as i kind of dry everything off so that's a really really good sealant really really you know good protecting on the paint um i want to say it's like 40 dollars on their website or on amazon or something for this gallon um so i definitely definitely recommend it uh, really really good sealant uh, and then as far as the soap that i use in the direct sunlight this chemical guys extreme maxi says does pretty good i'm not gonna say it does the best um, it's ph balanced um i usually mix i usually just put a little bit in there and mix it with about this much water and shake it up and this will create the best amount of foam um, in my opinion but also sits very very well and doesn't dry up too fast um, it does dry up kind of eventually but like after it dries you could like you could kind of you could leave it for a while spray everything down and then dry it 
and it'll be completely fine. It doesn't leave any marks. Like it's actually really, really good in my opinion. And um, it's the best soap that I've found so far um, that works in foam cannons. So these are the two products that I use, uh, you know, other than the water itself. So if you guys, you know, would like to have those, maybe I'll put the link in the description for both of those. So I have everything I need. Now, before I even begin, as you guys see, I'm already on site. I have the Porsche Taycan, which you guys have seen a few videos ago. Like I said, I've been trying to record this video a bunch, so I tried to record it on different vehicles, and I just happened to come around to make, be main, doing my maintenance on this car, and I figured I'd record it on this vehicle. So I'm here, huge thing, preparation. So I already have everything prepared. This is a huge thing in being able to do this in the sun. Um, you have to have everything prepared because if it's just sitting around, there's no way because you're going to be sitting around trying to go run and grab your towels while the, while the water is drying. It's not going to work like that. So have everything prepared. I already have my, uh, my bucket here to do the wheels and tires. I'm going to do that the very first thing. Uh, you always want to do that when you're in the direct sunlight, especially because you're not going to have time to wash it and do the wheels and tires at the same time. Always do the wheels and tires first. It's like, a, I mean, it's pretty common knowledge. Um, I have all of my stuff set up, so I have my pressure washer and everything already set up and ready to go. And the biggest thing is the towels. So as you guys see on the top of here, I already have my drying towels set up and ready to go. I usually carry about three to four towels, two towels for the drying process one towel for a cleanup process because I don't have a blower so stuff always drips um, so while I'm like vacuuming the inside and I notice something drips I'll kind of wait until, like while I'm doing the interior for a while then I'll kind of go around the car again I know stuff stripping I'll kind of use this as like another like last minute wiper um, as well as I can use this on the tires to dry uh, the wheels to dry at the very end and then same thing with this one this one's kind of just an extra drying aid for like wheels and tires so I usually carry around three towels um, but sometimes I'll have an if I have you know extra towels I'll use a fourth um, just pretty much have them set ready on top of my car I usually always put them on top safe spot there's no my the top of my car is usually clean um, but you know it's safe from anything that's on the ground that's gonna contaminate uh, the towels and make it to where when you're drying the vehicle you got rocks in your towels you do not want that so now that everything is prepared we have our product we have everything in order now we just start washing the vehicle so like I said I always start with the wheels and tires then I'll go ahead and do a quick little first rinse and then I'll hit it with the foam cannon wipe it down rinse it and then as I'm rinsing I'll put the sealant on and dry it and that's pretty much the whole process so I'll go ahead and show you guys the process real quick and um, and that'll pretty much be that The name of the game when you're dry, when you're doing a car in the direct sunlight is speed. So you do when you are in the direct sunlight. If you don't have this type of water, you want to be trying to go fast. So as long as you keep the water on the paint, it'll be fine. But sometimes the paint can be hot, so the water is going to be drying quick naturally. So the the longer you keep the water on the paint before you dry it, the better. But as soon as you're ready to dry it, you need to hurry up and get that done. So like I said, the name of the game is speed. So while I'm sitting here, if I was in the direct sunlight, I wouldn't want this to be sitting too long. So I did the pre-rinse, and now I'm gonna get to the foam. How's it going? Well, while doing this you guys I try to minimize the amount of times that I have to go back to my vehicle so while I'm doing this I usually keep two two towels on me um, or I will have one towel that I constantly flip and I have my water with me and I'll spray it down and then I'll continue going from panel to panel that way the same one side isn't being used for every single panel so like I said, the name of the game is speed. You don't want to be going back and forth. You want to have everything on you. So if you need two towels in your pockets, keep them in your pockets. 
Um, if you need, you know, one towel in your hand and your gun next to you, make sure you have your gun next to you and then you can keep it there quick so you can have this ready to spray it and flip it and continue to go to each panel. Okay, so now we are in the drying process. So the car has been rinsed off for the final time. Wheels are done, tires are done, um, everything, you know, it's all good. We're ready for the drying process. So usually what I do as far as the drying process, I get two towels. Like I said, I always usually, I always usually use two. I'll grab, you know, usually one uh, microfiber and one, what's it called, uh, waffle weave. And I'll do a two towel drying method. So I'll hold the waffle weave in front to collect or yeah i usually hold the waffle weave in front in my front hand like the leading hand and i hold the plush one in the back hand um and then i'll go around the whole car and dry it like that um and that usually works for most cars but just considering the type of vehicle that this is um what i'm going to go ahead and do is use one uh towel for now uh until it, obviously if it gets filled up enough with water then i can use a new one but i'm just going to use one chemical guys plus drying towel just to dry the whole the whole car to kind of prevent um any marring you know obviously i'm gonna get a uh, little micro scratches and stuff because i am drying with a towel hands on it i'm not going to use a blower or anything um just because i don't have one but to make it per a little bit more preventable and not happen or not be there as bad. There's a word that I'm looking for, but not be there as a parent. I'm gonna just use one towel, go around and dry the whole vehicle. And huge tip also, when you're in the direct sunlight, I usually always start with the windows because the windows are the hardest things for me. Um, you know, getting the streaks and stuff usually looks really bad. So when you start and you're in the direct sunlight, if you don't have this type of water, um, even if you do, I usually always start with the windows first. That way the windows look really clear and shiny. There's no streaks and crap like that, especially if you're in direct sunlight. If you have to use a window spray after that and the window is hot, it's just gonna be a whole mess. So I always start with all the windows. And so this is obviously a two in one. So while I'm drying the vehicle, I go ahead and take my PNS and while the vehicle still has droplets on it and it's still wet, I go ahead and spray it and I kind of just let it soak with the water that's already on there and then I dry it off. Uh, so it's a two in one. I'm getting the uh, paint protectant in as well as uh, drying the vehicle. So as I'm going around, I'm drying it and then I'm also spraying the PNS on the paint all the way around um, that way you know it could be nice and shiny and be protected as well it could usually be done right here this is how I complete my wash process in the direct sunlight I move fast I use the products that I use um, and in the order that I do um, so wheels and tires are done nice and clean on all four sides right everything's dried up you could put your tire shine on usually right now but in my case I like to do tire shine on at the very end I don't know about some of you guys, but a lot of the times when I put on tire shine, uh, specifically the tire shine that I had, it could be shiny for a little bit, but then kind of mats up by the time the customer comes out and sees it. It still looks clean, still makes it look clean, but um, I like the initial real glossy look. And recently, you know, you could buy glossier tire shines. I kind of bought one that stays a little glossier um, longer. Um, so you could either put your tire shine on now and be done, but I like to put it on the very end typically that's how i do it and because i'm not done i have to do an interior i have to quickly vacuum the inside wipe everything down it's an express wash so just it takes nothing but 10 minutes maybe even less and then i'll come up come out here and put on the tire shine at the very end so i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum up the inside real quick it's usually never bad at all i mean you guys can go ahead and check it out for yourselves um and then i'll put the tire shine on at the very end so yeah you could just see is nothing but like fingerprints and then like i said this guy's a real estate agent if you guys remember from any other videos so he's out a lot oh god I, I can't get over this uh panoramic little like 360 screen here it's so nice this whole vehicle as a whole is just really nice but yeah it's not bad at all just dirt and stuff that needs to just be cleaned up and vacuumed real quick so i'll go ahead and do that real quick and then I will film myself doing the tire shine at the very end. So the vehicle is done completely, interior all done. The very, very last step is to put some tire shine on. So simply what I do is I have these microfiber um, little uh, like pads, foam pads 
or not microfiber, <laughs> these little foam pads. All I do is spray it, the very tip of it, kind of like here, spray the tip, and then kind of, let me point you guys up a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll just kind of start with the outer edge like that to kind of get that nice like line along the outside to show pretty much the shine. You guys know what I mean. If you guys do kind of like the same thing, so go ahead and just put the shine on. A little bit goes a long way. Do it all around the tire. And then this is pretty much your final step. So then we have some nice tire shine on there. And this is what the final product looks like. So that is pretty much it. I put all the tire shine on the rest of the vehicle. Let me go ahead and just give you guys a last little run around shot of the whole vehicle. This thing is so, so pretty. Got the tire shine on there, making it look so good. And then obviously the interior is finished. It's not really much to see here. Um, super nice interior though, I love it, the off-white. Oh, so amazing. And the nice little, oh, the screen up there, so nice. But yeah, got all the tire shine on. We are finished up. And this is its glory. So we already got paid, got my money, got uh, $60. Um, I don't know if you guys saw earlier, um, the owner actually came out, paid me, and then left. He had to go, uh, so he went in another vehicle. So. I hope you guys did enjoy this video on how I detail in the direct sunlight. Um, ironically, I know there wasn't direct sunlight today, but it would be the exact same, you know, if, if there wasn't, if there was direct sunlight, I'd be doing it the exact same way. So I hope you guys did take away something from this video. Uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave them down below. If you guys haven't liked this video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah. I'm about to head out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.